inevitable that the Nigerian separation will eventually come like a thief in the night. Yes, my people in Dubai, as the zoo they collapse, people don't they get the symptoms and uh, understand they say that zoo no feel last. I will make we go the streets, go here waiting that they talk from the streets of Lagos. Nigerian state disintegration remains a viable alternative as it stands now. It is inevitable that the Nigerian separation will eventually come like a thief in the night whereby everybody will be let go without any iota of argument. It's just a matter of days because very soon the bandits will start purchasing drones. Let me tell you, the bandits are now making their own, i.e. the improvised explosive devices. Oh, give me one. So very soon, the bandits have they were showcasing their weapons. You know, the bandits they all have the capacity to make their own IEDs. What does that tell you? They have the capacity to make their own guns. We saw what was happening in Plateau State. In fact, the PR of the police said that those guns were exactly like Russian AK-47. What does that tell you? Mm. It signals to you that very soon these bandits will start using drones. And to overrun the Abuja will just be they'll a, a child's play. Listen, they will start using UAV unharmed vehicles. These are drones, remotely controlled. They will be in their desert in one Sambisa forest, and then they will sell the drones to maybe Nasarawa from there. Boom! Oh, you think they cannot have that? They don't have access to that? What? Nigeria Army knows these things. There are so many Nigerian armies that have resigned. They have retired. They have not jumped Boko Haram because they understand that the Boko Haram bandits is one of the most illustrious business aside politics in Nigeria. They are well paid and well catered oh, for. Oh my goodness. Would it mean that uh, there are external uh, sponsors of this, uh, this guys, movement? These guys, they have massive and powerful alliance. With Al-Qaeda, they have alliances. With ISIS, they have alliances. Down to Iran. Iran produces drones. Turkey produces drones. Oh, you think they are not already acquiring the knowledge? <laughs> you see that this president that we call about uh, Tinubu now, I don't see him solving this issue if he doesn't open his eyes in a few days. Because serious issue will happen. And this is why when I tell Peter B does not have the capacity, Peter B must understand that if I become the president, the best thing is for us to be on our own. Everybody should go back to confederation. Go into your region. Control your land and your sky. That is it. This Boko Haram, are they, what is their major concern or drive? What is compelling them? Is it a separate independent state or of Islam? Yeah, absolutely. They want to have the independent Islamic Northern region of Nigeria. That's it. That has been their goal. That has been their modus operandi. And that is why they told you Boko Haram. Boko Haram means what? Westernization must be what? Abolished. And Sharia law must be what? Adopted. Everything is in Islam. Everything their tenant has to is related, aligns. With the words, the jihadists of Usman Damfodio, conquest, okay, Islamization, by fear. by fear, that is the ideology. And they are amassing the weapons, they are amassing the courage, preparing for the evil day, they are amassing the strategy. We in the south and the southwest, you know, I pity most for my southwesterners. Sometimes I ask myself, I said, the easterners have been there, seen it before. But what about us in the West? We haven't. We have not been through the fire ever. We have never been through the fire. We have not fought any significant war in the recent, I mean, in the last hundred years. We haven't. So if we are ever going to have anything that has to do with fight for your freedom, if that time comes, who are we going to align with? That's the question because we'll be left on our own. So it is an important issue. The Nigerian army is never working for the goal of Nigeria. The Nigerian army has been infiltrated to at least 50% by the bandits.
Why do you think the Nigerian armies always miss when they want to go and eat this, the Boko Haram's? Because they have intel. Within the, the Nigerian defense? Yes. Of course, they have intels. There was a time they told you that it is soldiers that are supplying AK-47 to the bandits. Have you forgotten? One soldier was caught. Yeah. yeah. Afterwards, what did the bandits do? They expanded. Now they get their AK-47s from as far as Libya. In fact, they even go as far as Iran. And very soon, they'll start bringing in drones. These guys are already setting landmines. Imagine bandits setting landmines for soldiers. Of course, uh, one of their armored cars was blown up. That's why they are they evacuated their camp. You can see how sophisticated and they are running away. Now you can see how sophisticated they are. The bandits even evade radar. Okay, radar surveillance. They have learned how to evade radar surveillance of the Nigerian army and the Nigerian Air Force. They have learned that. It's just a matter of days and weeks. They start using drones against Nigerian army. So I mean, I won't be surprised when we get to that level. Could it be said that Nigeria is gone because of what is happening, uh, the crisis, uh, could Nigeria has the capacity to, to survive this crisis? Let me tell you, the Nigerian soul is gone. What you have left is the carcass. And the vultures are here, which are the bandits. Mm. The bandits are the vulture. And you know what the vulture does to carcass? It consumes it. Thank Nigerian you. Soul. Kudos to this young man for waiting to talk. Because say no be everybody if you open their mouth, if you talk boldly, especially for the Yoruba people, we are they always wonder which kind of life they come. They don't feel stand for anything. Now the one way we say that they are leader, it all say emi local. Now it don't be in turn. Now you know if you do anything. Less than one year, the prayers of fuel don't go to almost 1,000 Naira per liter for different parts. For some part of the zoo, it's almost 2,000 Naira. How much should they pay your national or be national wage? Less than 40,000 Naira. How much be bag of rice? How much should they pay your our military parastatus and the police and the rest? Why they no go, they corrupt? Why they no go, they ask for money from people? Why they no go oppress citizens because they are not well taken care of? Now why the zoo no fi stand be that? By the grace of Chuko Kabiyama, nothing fi stop the disgration of Nigeria, especially the liberation of Biafra from that zoo. For this matter, I'm going to rest my case now. Thank you.